Hey everyone, it's Pat from Seattle Coffee Gear and we are here today to talk about one of the hottest topics for uh, super autos, which is the use of oily beans. So if you are looking at buying a super automatic espresso machine or if you already have one, you may have heard about the fact that you're not supposed to use oily beans in a machine like this. Um, this doesn't apply if you're using a standalone grinder. Grinder, Obviously for that kind of grinder, you can use beans that are as oily as you want. And the reason for this is because you can disassemble a standalone grinder, which you should do every so often, to clean the burrs out and to clean the grind chamber and everything and get it uh, free of coffee oils. So all coffee has oil in it, and that oil kind of comes out as you're grinding the beans. But beans that are roasted darker tend to have more oil on the surface of the bean and just tend to be more oily in general. And those oils can build up over time and clog grinders. Now, with a standalone grinder, it's pretty easy to disassemble it, clean the burrs off, and make sure that the oil buildup isn't too heavy. And you can supplement that with the use of some grinds, which is a product that Ernex sells, or other kind of uh, grinder, cleaner, tablets, um, those will help clear the grind chute out of oils. And otherwise you can just like use some, some uh, a damp cloth or however you wanna clean it, however your machine manufacturer recommends for your grinder. The thing with super autos is that because of the way they're constructed, these machines are built to fit a lot of stuff, you know, a milk steaming system, a, uh, a brew group that's automated, and a grinder into sort of a smaller package. So it's not so much that they're trying to like avoid giving you the option to clean the grinder in the same way, there just isn't really a way for you at home to take it apart and clean the grinder itself. So there is a product from Ernex called Super Grinds that you can use to try to, uh, to, to clean the grinder on the inside of the Super Auto. It works pretty well, but the concern here is that if you use really oily beans and there's a ton of oil buildup from using lots of oily beans, you can void your warranty depending on the Super Auto manufacturer. So you really need to pay attention to what your warranty terms are and what it says in your user manual and make sure that you're using the machine properly and not using um, oily beans in the grinder. Now, there's a couple other questions that people usually have about this. One is, can you use the pass-through doser for oily beans? We generally tell people to kind of avoid using oily beans with a super automatic altogether. Um, if you really wanna have some super dark oily coffee, uh, a good way to go about it is by using like a French press or something like that, uh, or even a drip brewer to enjoy that coffee. Using the pass-through is not gonna be as risky as using the grinder because you're just putting the beans into the brew group instead of um, passing them through the grinder. But again, especially oily coffee can cause problems in pretty much any part of the Super Auto, so it's easiest to just kind of avoid it. The other question is, oh no, I used a bag of oily beans because I didn't know or I didn't notice that it was oily. Uh, don't panic. <laughs> if you used a bag of oily beans, your machine's probably okay. Uh, we can't promise that any amount of oily bean usage won't cause problems for your machine or for your grinder, so we uh, just advise against using them at all. But if you happen to, by mistake, we'd recommend using maybe some super grinds or something to clean it out, but you're probably okay. Usually damage to the grinder and the seizing of the grinder happens after a fair amount of oily buildup. So you shouldn't use that as justification to run a bag of oily beans through it every three bags, but you're probably okay if you did, did one by mistake. So with all of that in mind, let's take a look at what we really mean when we say oily beans, because that's one thing that people question a lot is like, how oily is too oily? And the basic answer to that is, unless it's just like a tiny, tiny bit on one or two beans in the bag, if there is any visible sheen on the beans, we would call that too oily. That's oil that's on the surface of the bean, which indicates that the bean itself has quite a high oil content. So I've grabbed a couple of examples here, and the beans we have on this side of the plate are very much too oily. I would call these, um, the, the, this is a dark roasted 
uh, being that I would absolutely not use in a super auto uh, at, at, a, at all. Um, on the, the other side, we have beans that are definitely okay. And you'll notice that there's just no visible oil on them. They're not shiny. They have more of a matte appearance to them and you can't see any visible drops. Whereas on the other side, there's, there's shiny oil all over them. Even if the coffee was kind of in between these two and had a few drops of oil here and there, I would avoid using it. Sometimes you'll get a bag of like a medium roast coffee that if you were to pour all the beans on the counter, you would see maybe one or two drops of oil in the entire bag you're probably okay with something like that. But anything where a handful of beans has noticeable sheen across the beans, you definitely don't wanna use. Um, and frankly, if you see that something is a medium to dark roast, there's a pretty good chance that it's gonna be kinda oily and not work well. Now we have a category of beans on our website that is super auto recommended beans. So this is gonna be beans that Every time we've, like when we've tested them, they are free from oil and they're, they're, or not free from oil, I should say, but no visible oil, not too oily to use in your Super Auto. Um, that's something that we update periodically. And, you know, if we see that there is uh, a roast that now is a little too dark and has too much oil, we swap it out. So you're going to be safe with beans from that category. And I highly recommend going there to check that out. Um, Kind of for some closing notes, just want to reiterate again, it's very important to follow these guidelines because like I said earlier, you can void the warranty of your grinder. They can tell when there's been extensive oily bean use and that that's what seized up the grinder motors. So you definitely want to try to abide by this as much as you can and, uh, and, and make sure that you preserve that warranty in case you have any other issues, you can send it back and get it fixed. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's helped you pick out some beans for your super auto and know what to avoid. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button below and get subscribed to the channel for all of this uh, great content that we have coming up. Thanks.